the topic to be discussed here is uh, cold ship to own supply this is the sequence diagram uh, to start uh, cold ship to own supply so the starting condition is cold ship so next is to prepare the emergency generator prepare engage the breaker and emergency switchboard fill the emergency air receiver prepare the water uh, system prepare and start a uh, low temperature press water system prepare and start uh, a generator one or two and connect to mass bar engage the breaker and the main switchboard starter and feeder and the last is to start uh, ventilating fan okay so we need to start cold shift first so this is the uh, starting point so we need to start select cold shift so press uh, F1 to start simulation and then press the home key to display the process display directory mcb90 that's the so number one is prepare and start emergency generator uh, md78 this the model uh, diagram for emergency generator so this is the diagram for emergency generator so we have the diesel engine generator control panel okay so we need to start so the fuel is okay uh, here is okay the level the refrigerator uh, DO data emergency generator uh, DO diesel oil service tank okay so this is the engine control so manual and then start so the emergency generator is starting uh, the speed is increasing then the next step is to connect this to emergency bus bar so you can click here or you go to process directory and select the MD70 ok so I click here 070 so this is our uh, emergency generator so this is running the color is yellow so if the color is black so the system is not running or off so we need to switch on the voltage excitation so we have the voltage is zero frequency is zero so current is zero so we need to switch on here uh, voltage excitation switch click on now we have the voltage and frequency the next step is to connect this uh, emergency in emergency bus bar so click in ok so emergency the next step is engage breaker and emergency switchboard engage breaker and emergency switchboard so here I click 073 or you can go in the process panel and, and click select here emergency switchboard So engage all the brick here here. In the 
din si switchboard Rate of system, so DT1, DT2 so Air supply, exhaust so emergen Emergency transformer So engage all except steer Okay So emergency switchboard has been engaged All breaker has been engaged So the next step is to peel emergency air receiver in D59. Okay, so select the process directory 59 MD59. This is start air system. So this is our emergency emergency compressor. Uh, emergency tank to be filled to be filled so first is to open the bulb so here will be going here so be open and this the receiver outlet bulb and this is going to DG1 supply okay so the next step is start this locally local and then click on so the emergency generator is starting running and we have the flow and pressure be increasing next process next sequence Next sequence is to prepare start auxiliary sea water system. So MD01 So click the process directory MD01 Sea water system or sea water pooling system. So I will be open the loop suction uh CHS in the bulb and then switch on auxiliary sea water pump I will be open the DG1 fish water pooling sea water shuttle bulb so out here going here so open the overboard shuttle bulb then open the re circulated line shuttle bulb and then we put the temperature control to automatic auto auto mode okay so the next step uh, a low temperature fresh water system so MD 10 so click the process directory so this is MD10 press water system ok so this is celery pump so this is on I will open the air going to air compressor cooler so going here ok I will be open this high temperature fresh water recirculated bypass valve and then going to fresh water cooler number 1 and then we need to open a bypass valve then the low temperature fresh water control temperature should be uh, set to O2 Okay, so we have prepared our low temperature piece water cooling system. Next is to prepare and start diesel generator and connect to 440 
board or bus bar. Go to process directory, select MD75 diesel generator, we shall start diesel generator number one. Okay, so this is the diesel generator number one diagram. Uh, first is to open this lubrication makeup to peel or some pump to remove the low level alarm then I will close this so prepare the lubrication so open the DG1 LO filter number 1 okay. and start the pump manually so we're going here we pass her in our third check and we'll be enter a mini diesel generator so in DG1 set this to auto preheater so the switch on then set to auto next is to prepare the uh, fuel service tank we go to fuel service tank so this is DO service tank open the DO service tank circuit valve open the DO supply valve to the G1 or the G2 and then I will be return to uh, the G1 diagram and this is generator number 1 so open this and the fuel the G1 fuel oil filter number 1 Okay, so we prepare the uh, lubrication system and then cooling system is prepared. So uh, diesel fuel we prepared. So we next step is to start our engine. So we have the engine control panel. So we start. Sorry, so we start the local. So local here is the press and then press the start button the diesel generator now is running so we have the speed is increasing so the next step is to connect uh, diesel generator number one okay so here connect to 40. Okay, so the alarm should be acknowledged. The alarm should be acknowledged. Okay, so you click here 070 or you can click here 070. So this is electric power plant. So this is the electric power plant. So this generator is running but the voltage is zero so we need to switch on the voltage excitation switch now we have the voltage and frequency okay so we need to connect this to the bus bar using only a semi auto synchronize synchronizing so select the g1 um, semi auto synchronizing the alarm should be acknowledged select uh, the G1 when the, when the light is become green so click connect so our DG1 is connected to the bus bar ok so we have voltage the frequency so this is the main bus bar and then we need to connect the bus tie breaker and then the emergency breaker here ok so connected now to the diesel generator number 1 so alarm to be acknowledged since we have shifting from emergency to DG1 power so our uh, auxiliary pump in seawater will shut up it will be shut out 
so we need to reconnect this switch is on again then again you go to uh, press water system switch on the auxiliary pump okay so the next is to engage pre-care and main switchboard starter and feeders so MD72 and 71 okay so process directory so here the main switchboard starters and main switchboard feeder so we need to engage all uh, breaker here in main switchboard feeder Okay, so all uh, breaker here is engaged in feeders in switchboard feeder. So click the process directory. Next starter main switchboard starter. So engage all breaker here. It's all breaker except the spear. Okay, so all breakers been engaged in starter. So the next step is here. Okay check then the last is to switch on the pans ventilation process directory and then air ventilation system so MD40 we need to switch on engine room supply pan then engine room exhaust pan to remove the hot air and then the pressure of that is to lower so we have input supply and we have exhaust so on the engine control room cargo accommodation purifier seaweed spots so that ends so we have now own supply so the process is completed the sequence is already completed so we stop here